everyone, Daisy here again with another layout for Spiegel Mom Scraps. Today I'm using this beautiful cut file that was created by fellow sparkler Virginia. She created this and it was distributed in the Sunday Sparkler, which is the new Spiegel Mom Scraps newsletter. You can head on over to the website to sign up for it. Um, it's something you definitely don't want to miss out on. Um, there's a lot of fun tips. There's some um, spotlights on different um, members or sparklers um, and just shows you different um, you know there's a lot of different information that is given through the newsletter but definitely just for the free um, cut files is an amazing reason to sign up. So I decided that I wanted to back um, each of the letters. Originally I was going to back it with this, um, it's called Bubblegum Pink from Cardstock Warehouse, but I decided that I wanted to use this pink fresh studio paper um, to back the cut file. And this is part of my um, Shop It or Stash It kit. Um, if you are interested in learning more about that, you can head on over to my channel and check out the playlist for it. Um, but anyhow, so I changed my mind and decided that I wanted to back it with this floral paper and then use the uh, sheet of the pink paper um, as the background for my layout. So I gutted out that floral paper and I'm going to use it as a border around the edge um, of the entire layout as well. And then I went to town fussy cutting out these letters and ugh. I hate fussy cutting. If you've watched me at all, you know I don't like fussy cutting and I was a little impatient and so I end up screwing it up which then, you know, frustrates me even more. So anyhow, um, I'm just kind of doing this the cheater way. Since I had already cut out these pink letters, I decided to use them as kind of a template to cut out um, the floral paper. However, um, yeah, like I said, I was impatient, and so I did not do a very good job um, cutting around these letters. But it's okay. I come up with a way to cover it up. So here is that bubblegum pink cardstock, and then I'm just going to start putting these letters on. Um, I'm using my Tombow. I always use my Tombow. I don't have a fine liner bottle or anything. I just find that whenever I use a different liquid adhesive, it just doesn't stick as well and the Tombow dries so fast and it's so such a strong adhesive that I, that's what I use all the time. Um, really the only other adhesive I use is the Zatz Bling for sequins. So anyway I'm just gonna go around and back all of these and I have two photos that I'm going to be using and so they fit in the R and the I of the spring word and so I cut them down and there is a little bit of the white border showing but I felt like it wasn't that noticeable so I I thought I could get away with it and I don't notice it so I figure it's fine and here's the first like screw up there's a bunch of gaps and um, the the uh, backing of the letter goes outside of the lines basically so I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit trim it down and then to fill in kind of the gaps I'm going to just back the letters with the the pink um, that I had already cut out and I'm just going to put all of the letters on here so that it's all the same um, level because this is some pretty thick cardstock and I didn't want it to be I don't know, uneven. So I'm even going to put the I and the R on just to make sure that everything is kind of the same. And then I'm going to back everything with some fun foam. Oh, and here's where I'm trying to clean that up, and this is a disaster. And I'm sorry I didn't cut this out of here either, so you're just going to have to, to deal with it. Um, so anyhow, like I was saying, you definitely want to head over, uh, sign up for the newsletter. Um, that's also a great way to find out when there's going to be new sequins um, and when there's going to be the um, monthly pre-release. Um, so you definitely want to 
it, it, you know, like I said, it's a great way to get all of the information that's going on in the shop. So um, you should also join the Spread the Sparkle um, Facebook group because that is another great place for um, information, but also it's an it's a great way to connect with other scrapbookers and it's a great group um, of people who you know are like-minded and enjoy pretty things there's also a bi-weekly sketch challenge or not sketch challenge I'm sorry scrap lift challenge um, <clears throat> that you uh, um, can participate with in order to possibly win um, there's a prize um, every time that there's a challenge so you don't want to miss out on any of that so I just took my layout over to stitch and I'm really sorry I did a terrible job of editing this video um, but anyway I took it over to stitch around the edge and I used some silver thread and I just you saw me use some washi tape that's kind of a tip that I have um, I just use washi tape to hold it on so that it doesn't slide around so I can sew those two borders together without gum, gu uh, gumming up my needle in my sewing machine. So, um, And now I'm going to start using these sequins and this is a heart's key. First I'm going to back all of this and then I'm going to start with the sequins. And I chose this one. This is one of the April releases um, and I chose this one because I wanted to use the white sequins that are in it. Excuse me. Um, and also there's these little like, they're almost pearl um, hearts in there and they match this bubblegum pink so perfectly that I had to use them. And then I pull in some of the other colors um, of the hearts that really match really well with that floral paper. And I am loving how springy this is. So I'm just going to adhere this down here. And I don't know if you can tell, I kind of changed my light setup um, because I was having major issues before. Um, with my lights and the shadows and everything so let me know if you think this is better um, I think it's better but there is a little bit of glare on you know shiny surfaces or whatever so just let me know what you think um, so I'm just kind of scattering these around kind of tucking some of them into the cut file putting them in the corners and then like I said I'm gonna work on adding those little pearl hearts And the pearl hearts are too small for my, I'm using my Zotz bling right now. You can't see it. It's kind of off camera. But um, the pearl hearts, I use my Tombow to stick those down and it works perfectly. So you just need a teeny tiny little, little drop of it and it holds it down really well. And I'm using my jewel picker there just to kind of help me um, pick up these little pearl hearts because every time I have so much glue on my fingers at this point that every time I stuck my finger in there all the sequins would stick so it's just easier to use the jewel picker and so I'm trying to um, find those extra colors and kind of spread them around the layout so that um, you know light colors aren't together and I feel like they add like the perfect little touch and um, I'm also going to pull out um, the second mix because I wanted some yellow sequins, some larger yellow sequins to go in the centers of some of those flowers. And so I am um, pulling out the lush greenery um, sequin mix and that has some beautiful um, yellow sequins in it that I'm going to put in the flowers. And unfortunately, my video is going to cut off short. Um, all you really miss is I add a little die cut that says hello in gold foil and then another little like phrase sticker that says a perfect day for a walk or something like that. Um, 
And that's pretty much going to be my layout. So don't forget you can use my code DAISY15 for 15% off your next purchase. It does not work on the, the um, pre-orders because you already get a 20% discount um, by ordering, you know, the the whole set for the month. Um, but it works on everything else in the shop. So definitely don't forget to use the code and I will see you again next time. Bye!